wonderful week again last week as we expected gold remained bullish and despite a drop towards the end of the week still it closed in green and as i shared that one can remain long till the time it trades above 1750 precisely it traded in the same zone and achieved 1795 i hope you all profited did didn't we draw this last week that this box that is 1790 to 1810 this is the first resistance zone only if it breaks past this it may try to rise again and then the next resistance is 1840 1836 levels and if it trades above this this should be considered bullish and it is going to its 1900 levels fail to go past this zone itself this is the stronger resistance zone we have seen it earlier now again it is failing to go past but still i hope you all profited and see this was the zone see first of all my first prediction towards 1680 has again come true and after that a bounce back this is again come true now what is going to happen next week we will see with the help of candlestick chart followed with indicators and in the end i'll give you the trading levels and strategy do not forget to watch till the end do listen to it carefully and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon first also yes uh, those who are new let me share that i share my daily update on gold twice a day one with the asia session next with the us cash session do was the daily analysis well now look at the charts here this is the weekly charts and you can find out it is consistently trading in this channel and this is a bearish channel it failed to go past 1800 which is a stronger resistance only if it grows past 1800 1810 zone then you can consider that as a bullish move as precisely achieving the highs of the this channel it is trying to retrace again now whether it is going to drop or not let's have a look see last three candles just look at the last three candles trading in this channel also look at this look at the body size of the candle there see previous was a reversal then a bigger candle and this time the bulls failed to take the charge of the situation and it traded with a drop towards the end of the week closed with a very minuscule body there now first thing is what could be expected now see this there are three possibilities which can happen in this see obviously at any situation in market you will have always three possibilities one is a bullish rally breakout one is a bearish breakout and third is a sideways trade now look at this let's try to find out the levels down there see what could be considered as bearish now see in such formations if it is bullish also it may try to give you a flag formation like this where you may see lower highs lower lows so 1750 levels and then on the upside you can expect 1790 levels which may provide a little support on the upside so be cautious of this 1750 and 1795 so probability exists that in fact we may see something like this so if even if you see a drop and it drops till towards 1750 or 1740 Five or forty-seven zone. Yes, it can try to bounce back. So you have to be cautious of this. That seventeen forty forty-seven zone may provide a little resistance, and it can try to reverse on the upside. I'll be watchful of seventeen hundred ninety levels. So seventeen hundred eighty-one and seventeen hundred ninety levels should be cautious or should be watchful of these two levels. That is on the downside seventeen forty-seven, seventeen ninety. Now this appears to be largely an indecision zone. what happens if it gives you a breakout when what should be considered as breakout yes if you see trading beyond this zone now see highs of this channel are somewhere at around 1800 plus plus levels yes if you see it trading beyond 1800 you can go long but be watchful of 1808 as i have already told last week also this zone between 1800 and 1810 is going to be important and it is going to give it a stronger resistance now see if it is a retracement and it has to reverse it will open on the downside below this achieve the lows and once it drops past this zone at 1745 1747 probably below this you can consider that as a reversal then you can expect that it may come back till towards 1720 levels and this time it is going to be a sharp red candle which will erode completely the previous gains now this is just on the weekly charts let's observe more with the help of monthly charts and daily charts look at the monthly candle now how many times did we draw in last few months few weeks that it has seen a double top it is looking forward to a rise how many times did i tell those who follow me must know this also look at this how many times did i tell that 1680 is a good resistance and and 
I have also told that I see gold coming back to this zone 1600 to 1500 in next few weeks or few months that we have to see but it will come back to this zone why this will come back to this zone see this was the point from which the rally started retracement Pre precisely at the median it is again bounced back double top so it is trying to trade in this and with the, this as double top probably now it is trying to come forward to or look forward to this zone at 1600 first then 1500 next if it continues to drop in this for next few weeks now look at the monthly candle here on the monthly candle see it is trying to trade past this it is trying to show you a reversal but i will not consider this as reversal till the time it trades below this zone that is 1800 1810 and 15 levels so if it breaks past this zone then only i will consider this as bullish but it has got its next resistance at 1836 1840 zone if it and beyond which definitely 1900 is a must which you will see so if it breaks past 1800 1810 then 183040 is must and if it breaks past 1840 then 1900 is must on the downside but whether it is possible or not see it has already created a wick for the month it is trying to trade with a drop now look at this if it draws below 1760 this time the candle will turn red and it will pull you pull it further down and then below 1760 you can remain short for the next couple of weeks then you can definitely expect it to first hit 1720 this is the first target 1700 and then it will try to take it below 1680 levels breaking 1680 definitely stronger week can uh, stronger break can be expected so what is this done it has created lower highs it has created a wick and it will try to give you a red candle possibly the bottom of this candle somewhere here at 1650 levels so yes till the time it trades below 1760 you can remain short next week and for the rest of the month this is one of now let's have a look at the daily charts on the daily charts look at this here look at the daily charts double top here and see the base here at 1760 so next week if you see it trading below 1760 then go short and then this time it can come back till towards 1745 first support and then 1740 levels so probably because the last trading day we have seen a good drop it is still despite the drop it is traded and given higher lows so yes if you see it trading below 1760 yes you can go short in fact i'll recommend you to go short itself at 1764 below 1764 go short and then you can expect that we may see couple or more red candles which might at least pull back till towards 1740 and then below that 1720 levels are also possible this is the one observation and below 1720 definitely if not next week then probably next next week you can expect a stronger drop which might take it below 1680 and towards 1650 levels so this is one observation on the daily charts also on the daily charts we must observe that it has seen the highs there now if you look at this it is almost at the peak there see there are fever resistance zone if you look at this so precisely at the highs of this channel it has tried to reverse retrace from and hence i will be watchful of 1790 levels next week if it trades beyond 1790 then yes you can expect 1800 and 1808 and beyond that then it, it will remain bullish if it trades beyond 1818 zone it is going to remain bullish further then we can expect 1836 40 zone and beyond that definitely sky is the limit for 1900 so this is another observation now even if it tries to rise this zone is definitely going to provide a very strong resistance so i will always ask you to remain cautious of this so this is one observation and right now it appears on the daily charts it can try to give you a reversal come back till t here and probably then drop further this is one observation now let's have a look at the four hour charts too on the four hour charts still despite the drop it traded with higher lows higher highs also on the four hour charts one must not forget it is trying to give you expanding triangle any breach of this at 1764 you can go short this time and you can expect it to drop further but look at this after multiple candles multiple red candles this indicators must have been bearish and it must be oversold and hence it can retrace a bit till towards 1780 1790 zone and probably once you see it trading above 1790 yes you can go long else till the time it trades below 1790 i'll expect it to drop again 
this is another observation now let's have a look with the help of indicators there indicators on the four hour charts which is trading and close perfectly at the median of the bollinger band 1750 to 1800 is the zone in which it has got the uh, support zone the support at 176064 is strong if it breaks past this then you can consider it as a little bearish and on the upside definitely 1790 1800 zone you should be cautious rather i say 1719 and 8010 zone 1790 and 810 1810 zone you should be cautious of directional movement is bearish stock stick has almost come back to comfortable levels now looking forward to reverse a little macd has just crossed over and it is trading with divergence it is still bearish we may see it continuing likewise what we had seen earlier at this point you can see how it traded in the bearish zone and how we have seen the drop it has just crossed and probably we can see it trading in the bearish zone for a little while now look at the rsi is comfortable it is looking downwards coming back to the daily charts on the daily charts you will see in my daily analysis on friday i told you it traded it is trading at the top of the bollinger bands it has formed a double top only long anti was 1795 till the time it trades below 1795 you can expect it to retrace and drop back on the downside now see the, it is trading above the 20 period moving average which is situated at around 1740 it may try to attempt and achieve these level once before even if it tries to trade bullish it can try to achieve those levels but at the same time on the daily charts look at this it is trying to honor this channel which is a highly bullish channel and hence 1763 64 levels yes below that you can remain short then we can see it trading below this zone till the time it trades above 1764 do not go short and on the upside be watchful of 1790 levels this is one observation directional movement is bullish stochastic has seen a drop now trying to converge crossover MACD is still trading in green and it is divergent it may soon start to converge and cross over if it is bearish we may see further red candles RSI is looking downwards on the daily charts and if you look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts too similarly to what we have said the candles and the resistance zones are perfectly precisely at the same levels 1830-40 zone only if it breaks past 1840 you can consider this as bullish also if you look at the 100 weeks average has provided it a resistance there at 1795 and that is what it is retraced from there directional movement is bearish it is trying to converge stochastic is looking upwards and see high high and lower high so probably from here it can retrace again on the downside the macd was bearish it is trying to converge let's be watchful if it continues to the conversion and crosses over from there right now it appears it is still little bearish here and rsi near to bottom now look at the monthly candle on the monthly chart too it is get the resistance from the 50 period average and it is trying to look forward to a drop the support there at 1660 1670 is strong probably it can try to drop till there and then bounce back also look at the monthly support channel here at 1690 1700 so in fact it can give you higher lows from the previous month and then we have to see what it may try to do is give you lower highs and higher lows so yes there is a probability that it can come down a little till towards 1700 19 not break 1680 levels and then next to next month we decide how it is going to behave but directional movement if you see on the monthly charts it is narrowishly bullish and it is looking forward and waiting for a crossover in and yes it has not seen a crossover a bearish crossover since 2018-19 monthly stochastic is oversold looking forward to a rise here macd on the monthly charts is wide divergent and bearish and rsi is comfortable considering now all this we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators now let me give you the trading levels and the strategy for next and before i proceed thank you for your overwhelming response on our mentorship batch the next batch which is starting on 8th of august and we have almost booked only hardly one seat left that also need to be checked that the booking is pending and yes the next to next batch dates are going to be announced soon if you want to become a proficient and a profitable trader you can join our mentorship batch and definitely it will help you in your trading decisions also if you want to just trade as per the signals you can join my vip signals group reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description so next week if you see it trading beyond let's talk about 1780 you can go long but see i'll i'm going to give you very nearby resistances
टिल हियर इट्स फाइन एंड देन एटीन हंड्रेड वन इन बिटवीन दिस जोन वेन एवर यू सी आई विल नॉट कंसिडर दिस एज ए बुलिश मूव आई विल कंसिडर दैट एज ए माइनर इंडिकेटर कूलिंग एक्सरसाइज वेयर इफ इट इज ओवर सोल्ड इट कैन ट्राई टू राइज ऑन द नियर टर्म बट येस यू कैन डेफिनेटली इनिशिएट अ लॉन्ग एंट्री एट सेवनटीन एटी लेवल्स इट सेल्फ बियॉन्ड सेवनटीन एटी वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ लिटिल बुलिशनेस बट बी कॉशियस ऑफ सेवनटीन एटी फोर नाइन्टी वन नाइन्टी फाइव एटीन हंड्रेड वन लेवल स्टिल हियर इट कैन ट्राई टू रिवर्स और इट इज आई विल नॉट कंसिडर दिस इज बुलिश मूव सो यू हैव टू ट्रेड विद स्टॉप लॉस एट कॉस्ट सर्ज दैट यू कैन प्रिजर्व योर कैपिटल यू कैन ट्रेड इन प्रॉफिट एंड यस इवन इफ यू गेन अ फोर हंड्रेड पेप्स और फोर डॉलर मूव यस दैट इज ऑल्सो प्रॉफिट यू शुड बुक इट एंड इफ यू सी इफ यू मेक फोर डॉलर एवरी डे देन इट इज ट्वेंटी डॉलर अ वीक आई थिंक दैट इट सेल्फ इज अ वेरी गुड स्ट्रेटेजी टू मेक लिटिल प्रॉफिट एंड एंजॉय यर मूव देयर विदाउट एनी रिस्क विदाउट एनी सेल्फ सो दिस इज वन वन ट्रिक टू यू नो प्रिजर्व योर कैपिटल एंड इंक्रीज योर वेल्थ बट नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक बैक एट द लेवल्स बियॉन्ड एटीन वन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट एटीन जीरो एट एंड आफ्टर दैट आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू एटीन वन नाइन एंड एटीन थर्टी सिक्स एटीन फोर्टी लेवल्स एंड इफ इट ब्रेक्स पास्ट एटीन फोर्टी स्का इज द लिमिट देन यू कैन रिमेन लॉन्ग फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द मंथ एंड नेक्स्ट फ्यू वीक्स यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इट टू हिट saying yes you should be cautious till 1800 levels and in fact 1808 and 183640 zone now see between 1790 and 1808 there is a stronger resistance zone then 1836 and 1840 should be the resistance zone only beyond 1840 we can confirm that it is going to remain strongly bullish and you can keep a positional trade till the time it is below 1840 you should not keep any positional trade but this is the case only once you see trading beyond 1780 and it does not retrace or fall back from 1790 1795 levels on the downside yes you can take a short entry at 1763 below this you can expect 1754 1747 and then 1740 be cautious till 1740 here below this there is a certain definite block breakdown which will take it till towards 1710 1698 and 1692 levels so yes if you see it trading below 1763 you can remain short for the uh further and then you can expect a good drop at least we can see 1720 1700 levels but first support at 1747 and 40 should come into picture and below that you can see a stronger drop which might bring it till towards 1720 for the week and below that it can hit sub 1700 levels again before looking forward to a rise so trade accordingly trade profitably trade with a stop loss and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to switch the stop loss to cost every time Thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead